www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. Gold. It's on. It's it's really on an unstoppable run. It has gone up more than 81% in the last five years, 20% in the last 12 months. It is happening. Central banks are ditching the dollar and U.S. treasuries, and they're buying more gold. Gold, a biblical currency. And the good news, it is predicted to go up more. Matter of fact, the UBS even said it would go up to $5,000 an ounce. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you serious? That's crazy, but Noble Gold Investments phone is ringing off the hook. Everyone wants to protect their retirement with gold, and you can too. Go to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Click on that description below. They can help you secure some gold to protect your future or roll over that 401k. From day one, you will work with the same dedicated all-American experts. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced investor, Noble Gold Investments will make sure you get all the help you need. And this month, they're going to give away this, this right, beautiful one quarter of an ounce, one quarter of an ounce gold coin, uh, and they're going to give it to you for free. This is worth over $700. They'll so give this to you for free while they're helping you set up your gold or silver IRA. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. Click on that link below or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And tell them that Pastor Paul sent you there. Are you serious? The Satanic Temple is responding to House Bill 1425, which has been sent to the Oklahoma governor's desk and could allow students to earn class credits for off-campus religious and moral instruction. The bill mandates that school districts permit students to attend these courses, missing up to three class periods per week, with parental consent required. Instruction for these courses wouldn't need to be licensed by teachers, and the school district funds wouldn't cover the instruction, exempt for administrative cost. The Satanic Temple has announced that their Haleon Academy of Independent Learning, also known as Hale, could be an option for Oklahoma students to earn credits if the bill becomes law, KSWO has reported. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. A group of current and former OpenAI employees, including nine insiders, has raised concerns about a culture of recklessness and secrecy at the San Francisco-based artificial intelligence company. They claim OpenAI prioritizes profits and growth over safety as it races to develop artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI, a type of AI capable of performing any human task. The whistleblowers who include both named and anonymous individuals, allege that OpenAI discourages employees from voicing concerns through restrictive non-disparagement agreements. They have published an open letter urging greater transparency and protections for whistleblowers in the AI industry, DNYUZ has reported. OpenAI spokesperson Lindsay Held defended the company's record on safety and openness to debate while a Google spokesperson declined to comment.
China's Chang-6 probe is returning to Earth with the first samples collected from the far side of the moon, marking a significant milestone for Beijing's space program. The probe landed in the South Pole Basin on Sunday and gathered rock and soil samples over two days and then unfurled a Chinese flag on the lunar surface. The probe's ascender module has now lifted off from the moon and entered orbit. This is according to China National Space Administration, also known as the CNSA. Experts highlight the importance of this achievement, noting that only the USA and Russia have previously recovered lunar samples, The Guardian reported. This mission demonstrates China's advanced space capabilities, especially given the technological challenges of taking off from the moon's far side. The samples are expected to provide valuable insights into the moon's formation and evolution, differences between its near and far sides, and clues about how Earth came to support life.